In this video, we are going to be talking all about resistance band deadlifts with loop style resistance bands. All right, so resistance band deadlifts. This is gonna be a compound exercise, which means it's, it's going to involve multiple muscle groups. This is a posterior chain exercise, so that means it's going to be handling the muscles on your backside. You're gonna be working your traps, your lat muscles, which are your back muscles, as well as your glutes and your hamstrings. So you're gonna have all these muscles firing at once to perform this lift. It's also very functional because you are literally picking something heavy off of the floor, which is something you probably do every single day of the week. We're using resistance bands, so they're gonna be low impact and a great way to train your form. And you can also do it without free weights wherever you are, at, in, at the gym, at home, wherever you're at. So to set this up, you're gonna need one 41 inch band, and we are going to be incorporating the use of some comfortable band handles. These are from Clench Fitness, obviously this is the Clench Fitness channel, but they make deadlifting a hell of a lot more comfortable, and you can also stack multiple bands onto these handles to give you increased resistance or to find that right resistance as you're going through sets. All right, so to set this up, you're gonna grab your 41 inch band. I got a purple here to start with. It's gonna be pretty light for me. It's a, it's a warm up set, plus I'm just trying to demonstrate it to you guys. So you grab your handles, you loop them through your band, one on each side. You want the band to be on the outside of the handles on the outer hooks and then you're just gonna drop it down. Your feet are gonna be about shoulder or hip width apart. And then you're just gonna set this band down, step onto it, get your shoulder width stance, and, try, and make sure that you're even on the band. You want the same amount of resistance band hanging out on both sides. And then you're just gonna come down, grab your handles, drop your butt, and pull it up off the floor. Now I'm gonna take this 90 degrees to my right so that you guys can kind of see the form. Again, I'm setting this band down, kind of adjusting it to get it so that my feet, you want it centered on your feet, maybe just a little bit more towards the back of your feet, like right where the laces tie up on the top of your shoe is about where you want the center line of this lift to be. Again, we're setting up shoulder width apart, we're gonna reach down, grab our handles, and we're gonna drop our butt down. I don't want you up like this, because if you lift it like this, you're using all back, and that's where all the injuries are gonna occur. So you're gonna be dropping your butt down, keeping your nose over your toes, and you're gonna stand up and push with the hips. And on your way down, you're gonna pivot with the hips till about knee, then you're gonna break at the knees and back down keeping that back with a nice arch, an anterior pelvic tilt, so you want your pelvis tilting towards the floor. You're just gonna rep it up. I do not want you to do, do be doing this. Do not hunch your back over, lifting it up. That means you're not breaking enough at the hips and the knees. So break at the hips, break at the knees, and pull it up, and at the top, Thrust those hips forward. That's an exaggeration. I don't want you to do too much. Down, up, lock it out. And that's how you do a resistance band deadlift. All right, so we just walked you through the form on how to do the deadlift. One cool thing about these handles is that they allow you to stack resistance bands to give you more resistance. So right now, I have a green band. This is 1.75 or one and three quarters inch wide. That's the max that will fit in here. So I can set this up in my deadlift configuration, do a bunch of reps, jump out, and say I wanna go up and wait for the next one. All I do is leave it there. I can grab my next band, and I just wrap it right around the outside. So one thing to note with these resistance bands is that they behave differently than free weights. Their resistance increases 
as you stretch them. And in the, in the deadlift, where you're gonna see that happen the most is when you start this lift. So if you have your band set up on the floor, I'm not going to be using handles here just to demonstrate this. You're gonna grab your band and you're already starting the rep right here. I'm, I'm already starting in the progression of motion and I do not have a lot of resistance. I do not start feeling more resistance until about, you know, halfway up in this rep. So from half to the full point of the rep is when I get the most resistance. So a tip is to give you more resistance at the bottom of that lift so that you can closely, more closely replicate like a free weight style training. And the way to do that is to shorten the length of the band, which is why we use the handles. So by taking this handle and inserting it, you can see that we widened it out and we actually brought our starting point closer to the floor. So that's something that you're gonna wanna note when you're doing these exercises, is you wanna try to get more resistance on the band as soon as you start to move. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get the full effects of that full range of motion. All right, so that's pretty much everything I have to tell you in a nutshell about how to do a proper resistance band deadlift. If you like this, please be sure to drop a like down at the bottom. If you have any questions, comments, be sure to drop them in the comments so that we can get back to you and help build this channel. We love hearing your feedback, so please give us comments, give us likes, give us dislikes if you don't like it. That way we know what's going on. Also, the bands that we use in this video today are obviously from Clench Fitness as well as the handles. So if you need any of this equipment to get started, go down into the description and the links will be there. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.